Hey everybody, it's your boy Kaz here, and I'm bringing you another video based on how to play certain smite gods. This is part 4 of my series. This uh, this video will feature Wheelix, the goddess of the moon. So, let's get right into it. Basically, what I like to build, warrior tabai, for lots of power. Yotans, you need Yotans because it gives you lots of power, it gives you 11 physical penetration, it gives you 25% cooldowns, and pretty much on a Wheelix you want to have less cooldowns because your feather step is going to be the majority of your damage. I get frostbound um, just because frostbound right now is so strong. It's really good on any character. Uh, spear robes, just a standard build, um, kind of like building like I built tier in, in a sense because you want to get max CDR. You want to get the forty percent, which is the max, and you get that twenty-five percent from Yotuns, and then you get fifteen percent from Spirit Rope. Also, this gives you forty physical and forty magical protections, and it gives you fifteen percent damage mitigation for three seconds when you're hit with CC, which is huge because you're going to be like in the thick of it. You're going to be fighting people, and you know you're going to be right in the team fights and stuff. And if you get hit with it with any kind of stun or, or Janus portal or any kind of thing, any kind of CC, you're going to get fifteen percent less damage for three seconds, which allows you to fight in the team fight more without getting bursted down. Then obviously you get Titan's Bane. Um, I have fooled around with getting Executioner instead of Titan's Bane because you do auto attacks too with your Frostbound. Um, it's something that does work and you can do it. Um, so it really just depends on your playstyle. I like Titan's Bane. Um, that's just me. But you can you can do either one. And then the last item is always situational. The sixth item for Wheelix is situational depending on what you need. Standard build, I get Shifter Shield. Um, it's kind of overpriced but I still like it a lot. It's 60 power when you're over a certain threshold of health. And then when you dip below a certain threshold of health, it gives you up to 30, 35? Yeah, 35 protections for everything. So it's nice in conjunction with your spirit rope. Um, another item I could recommend for the sixth slot would be if you need more offense, get a Deathbringer. Gives you crit chance, you know, lots of crit damage, 50 physical power. If you're getting bursted and you're having a lot of trouble, um, I recommend getting a mid guardian because that in conjunction with your frostbound hammer will give you extra tankiness, tons of health and lots of attack speed slows for hunters and stuff if they're if they're giving you trouble. So the sixth item just just play around with it. If they have double hunters or even like a, a hyper carry, then get get the mid guardian because it's gonna slow their attack speed down in conjunction with your frostbound and it allows you to stick on them a lot more. So basically for actives, I got Blink and Beads. That's going to be your standard. Blink right now is really strong. Um, I knew it was going to be strong when I fooled around on the PTR before, on the PTS, sorry, on PC, before everybody started doing it. Um, ever since the nerf to Hog, people have been looking for actives to put in that slot, and I, I, I was actually one of the original people to start using Blink. I fooled around with Blink and Combat Blink. Um, I like Combat Blink on certain mages. Blink is always, just normal Greater Blink is always going to be better in most situations, though. So. So, let's get into tactics with the Willux. Basically, your one pops you on a cat, and it lets you run around. I think it's 30% faster, with a, but you strafe left and right really slow. So you always want to be running in a straight line at all times. Um, you're not going to use this to initiate much. I mean, you can, but that's what the blink is for. This is kind of like your get out, get out escape. You know, like you get in there with your blink, you do some damage, and you need to get out. You get bursted, you pop your cat, and you jump out. Your two is a feather step, which only works when you hit somebody. Um, the way it works is that the more hits you do, it has like a chain progression. So I think it's on a third hit, it does like 1.5 or 2, two damage more. Let me see. Yeah, see, so yeah, attack progression bonus, one time, 1.5, and then two times. So it does double the damage on the third hit. And then your three is just a line cat, shoots out, does damage. If it hits somebody that's sideways or behind them, it'll pop them up in the air. And then you just pop your alt, and then it'll pull them to you. So basically... When you play a Willix, you want you want to have a, a team set up around you where they they have knockups like a Geb, a Geb with his uh, I forgot the name of it, his rock thing where he slams the ground that works, um, Hebo, or Habwa, whatever you want to say. Uh, when he pops his little uh, burst water spout thing, it pops him up in the air. Anything that has a knockup like that, it works well with him. I mean, it works well with Willix because she can just use her alt rate immediately and just pull them to you. Like say like. We're in a team fight over here or whatever. Like, say he goes in the fight and he's right next to me and he pops up Ra right there. I can pull Ra all the way to me right now. Like, that far away and, and completely burst him down in two seconds. Like, that's what makes her really dangerous. Um, granted, you don't have to have a team set up around you. It's just, it's, it's you know, it's preferred. 
You can still pick a Willix just just normally, just because you want to. It's still, you know, just smash face. So basically, what you want to do is you say, I'm in a jungle, because a Willix is a jungler. And you just, you know, you're just looking for a pick. And basically, you're going to go in and you're going to blink. You're going to hit him and pop over. Now, in theory, in theory, you want to get the attack progression chain. But it's really not that big of a deal. Um, it really just depends on the situation. Sometimes you won't have enough time to get the attack progression chain. So in which case, you just want to feather step anyway. Uh, it, it does a it does a truck ton of damage. So you would blink in, you would attack him. Say I'm getting bursted right now. I pop my Suku, and you jump away. And you could also use the Suku, your one, to jump over walls. Oh, you want to fight? Let's go. Basically. You want to use your Suku to get away. You can jump over walls with it. Let's see if I can jump over right here. Yep, see? It allows you to get away, right? So you want to use your blink to blink in, initiate, start attacking, maybe pop somebody up, pull them with all the or whatever, and then you want to get on them. Uh, my thing with the Willix is, like, she kind of falls off a little bit late game. Her strength is early to mid. Like, as you notice right now against this Robot, my damage, I'm not, like, I'm not, like, one-shotting him, right? Like, like a Hunter would, like, with crit or something. Um, basically, you still do a lot of damage. But your strongest point is probably between, like, level, I want to say level 3 to level, like, 12 in that range. Because your Feather Step at level 2 is going to destroy people. Also, all the way up to, like, level 12, 13, 14, that range right there, your Feather Step does so much damage. People don't have lots of defense items built up, etc. So you, you're going to be just annihilating people with Feather Step. It really does do that much damage, like... You pop them up in the air, you pull them down with your ult, and you hit them. Like that's that's pretty much just the gist of of a Wheelix. Like you just you want to jump with your two, your feather step, and it puts you behind the target, and then it allows you to use your B and it pops them up in the air, right? Which gives you a chance to pull you to use your ult, and that's the whole point. Like your ult gives you attack speed, it gives you power. Let's see. It does 400 damage plus 202 from my items, so 602 damage. It does. It gives me 70% attack speed stim and 60 power. That's huge. Like, also keep in mind is that you don't have to pop somebody in the air to use your ult. I mean, it's it's way better because it does a lot of damage too. But you can pop it just in an actual fight. Like if me and Ra were just battling, or say this was like an Odin or not even Odin, just any melee character like a Loki, a boxer or whatever, and I just wanted to you know just box him, I could just pop my all and just box him real quick, like you know, just box him, like because you you have seventy percent attack speed and sixty more power, like, you can you can you can use it preemptively instead of popping somebody up, like but obviously popping them up in the air and pulling them to you is going to be the preferred method. That's what you're going to look for picks, but. You can box somebody if you really need it. Um, I've done it plenty of times. I actually have a clip where I boxed a nemesis with my ult. It was pretty funny. And and I was at like 200 health and she had full health and I boxed her. Down to zero. But basically that, that's all that really happens with the Willix. I mean there's nothing special. There's nothing fancy. Um, she's a fun character to play. Like She has good escapes. She has good damage. Like I said, she kind of falls off a little bit late game, but, you know, it's not really your job late game to carry the game. It's the ADC's job to carry the game. Uh, you do you do a lot of damage still. It's your job to get on the hunters, your job to get on the mages, and basically make their life hell. Same as a warrior would. Uh, you want to pretty much just get on them and one-shot them as fast as you can and try to kill them. And that, that, that's really all there is to it. I mean, she doesn't have, like, a super fancy kit or anything like that, but she is a lot of fun. And she actually has a new skin coming out for Xbox called Renegade, and it is so badass, and I can't wait to get it. Um, she, so she's she's a lot of fun. I like her. Um, that's basically it. So, if you have any questions about Willix, or if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section, and I will get back to you. And as always, please take the time to like, subscribe, favorite, whatever. It really helps me out, and thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you.